Okay, so I am at a job interview. Well, about to go in for a job interview. And I feel really weird about wearing this hat, but I also shaved my head. So I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, I believe I am interviewing for a assisted living position. This is at a facility that I've worked at before, so I'm not sure if they're going to rehire me. Um, the administration and HR people are different, so I don't know. Hopefully that works in my favor um, because this was a really nice facility and the only reason why I stopped working here is because I had a stroke um, a couple years ago now and um, yeah, that was that was rough. So I'm hoping that they will rehire me. If they ask me about it, then, you know, I will let them know that, of course, I am dedicated to this job if they offer me a position and that they won't have any of the same issues that I had before because my health is much better than it was back then. So wish me luck. It is 1.42 and my interview time is set for two o'clock. So I'm going to go in in just a few minutes and hopefully I get some good news because, yeah, it would be great. The only thing I don't like about this facility is that it is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Um, I did do CNA vlogs here before when I worked on night shift on the short-term rehab unit and yeah so hopefully i get some good news either way i'll let you guys know how it goes hopefully i don't come out crying um so yeah anyways i will talk to you guys once i come out of my interview wish me well and i'll let you know you guys i am so freaking excited so, as of right now, um, tomorrow I don't have to do anything. I got hired. I don't know if you could tell by how happy I look, but I did get hired. Um, so, basically, what I have to do tomorrow is Wednesday, and I have to go get a drug screen and physical done on Thursday um, because I'm getting work done on the car tomorrow. So I won't be able to go tomorrow. Otherwise, I would have gone tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to do that. I got hired for a part-time 2 to 10 and part-time 10 to 6, which would make me full-time. Um, and basically what the assisted living coordinator told me is that she's looking for people who are dependable and um, she wants more mature adults because she's hired younger um, people for the assisted living um, department and they haven't worked out so well. So she wants dependable adults. And so yeah, that would be me. Um, I'm super excited. And she basically told me um, if I can't do 10 days per pay period, then I could do eight days per pay period and she'd be fine with that. I'd still be full time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be working evenings and overnights, um, a mixture of both. <sighs> I'm super excited. Like, I can't even believe this. I really didn't know if they were going to rehire me just because everything when I had my stroke and um, I'm just looking forward to starting this new job. And I like the assisted living coordinator. She's super cool, super chill. And this is actually a true assisted living, like not like the assisted living I was just working at, where basically, um, basically they were in assisted living, but with mechanical lifts and all that stuff. And if you know assisted living, you know that's not assisted living. So, um, basically the most that you would have to do is like um wipe for somebody who's incontinent or um change somebody who's incontinent things like that like you don't need to lift them she said most of the people um in the assisted living unit right now are pretty independent and that's really the only things that they need assistance with right now 
I'm super excited. Like I loved working at this facility when I worked here before and I can't wait to start working here again. Um, I got a new hire packet and everything. And basically, um, as long as I get my um, physical done Thursday morning, um, she should have the results by Thursday night. She's not here on Friday. So orientation is on Tuesday. So I'd be able to start on Tuesday um, as long as I get this stuff done. Um, but either way, even if I had to go in the afternoon on Thursday, um, I could still start on Tuesday with orientation. It's just that, um, she wouldn't be able to call me to actually set the hire date until Monday. So, because she's not in the office on Friday. But anyways, I just thought that I would share that with you guys. I have to go drop the car off so that the work can be done tomorrow. I am super freaking excited. I'm super proud of myself. And yeah, I'm just super happy. So anyways, I will keep you guys updated with how it goes. And I'm about to drive to go drop the car off. And then um, Paul is going to... Um, he is going to be bringing me home from where we drop it off at because these are people that he knows. Oh, and do you like my outfit? I don't, I can't really show you guys my outfit very well, but this was an afterthought. I was going to wear a wig because my mom has me, um, all like my self-conscious or uh, my self-consciousness. Um, she has that like on a whole nother level because, I shaved my head, um, so yeah, and then I'm wearing this sweater that has little, um, whatever these are called, <laughs> and this shirt is one that I got from Rainbow for my birthday. I have on black pants and black shoes, so I just wanted to look appropriate for an interview, but anyways, I will talk to you guys in my next video.